So I think we can all agree that touching women on the street without their consent is wrong. Oh, oh. But what if there are times when it's absolutely okay to do so? And if they complain, they're the ones in the wrong. What? That's not what I'm saying, but that's what these guys are saying. So these are some clips from mainstream Japanese TV shows I found where they blame women for getting groped. And I know it sounds really crazy, but trust me, their logic is very crazy. This is a clip from 2018 and it has become somewhat of a Tokyo tradition for people to go to Shibuya Crossing to celebrate after a major victory in sports. So he's saying that women, if you go into crowds and get groped, it's your fault. I guess in other countries, it's only pickpockets you have to worry about when you go to crowded areas. Attention, a pickpocket! But according to this logic, these men, if these men get groped, they shouldn't be complaining either, right? Dude, you make zero sense. And the kind of comments that I usually hear when I'm reporting on stories like this is usually, oh my god, straight cis men are the worst. But let me just explain one thing, right? Anyone, anyone can be a jerk, regardless of which minority box they tick, because... So the guy who made this statement is Chris Matsumoto, and I do think that among some of the older generation gay guys, there are some who have a strong hatred toward women. Another really famous example is the former CNN anchor Don Lemon, who got fired last year for being a misogynistic racist creep. Nikki Haley is in her prime, sorry. When a woman is considered to be in her prime in her 20s and 30s, and Maybe 40s. What are you That's talking about? Wait. I actually was wondering what the reactions from the Japanese women were like during this time. So I checked Japan's number one website for women called Girls Channel, where only girls can write. But guys are welcome to view, so I did. And you can pause to read how women were reacting back then. <laughs> anyway, since then Shibuya became a popular place to gather around during special occasions like Halloween. Because people always like an excuse to go out and cosplay, and this is how Universal Studio Japan became successful by capitalizing on this. They were failing before they realized that they could use anime to make money. But of course, when you get many strangers in one place, you do get crimes happening, including groping. So let's see if TV shows would side with the perpetrators or girls dressed up as Anya. So, do you guys really need me to explain how preposterous these comments are? By the way, if you are such a monkey that you can't control yourself if you see a revealing outfit, you can stay in your f in cages. Here behind this cage, crazy, crazy, everybody laughs. The opposite extreme is, of course, those gym girls on TikTok that wear revealing outfits to the gym and complain if a man happened to glass their way. Feral, 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 like feral. I feral. あ、そうだ。そうですね。なんでそれはもうなんか自分がこういう格好してしまったので、自分で作りました。だ、これで触られまくりでしょ。そうですね。まあまあ、再触られました。触る方が悪いですよ。いや、だったらまあ自分がそ
reproaching her and making sure that she was okay being groped. And what I really don't get with these people is that do they expect Zero Girls to be in Shibuya on Halloween? And do they want Shibuya to be a sausage fest? Or do they expect all girls to be dressed up as Samus for Metroid? But at the same time, being Japanese, I'm going to defend Japan a little bit. I think Asia as a whole are really lax when it comes to the concept of groping. As I explained before, I do get strangers trying to touch me because I look different due to my race. And sure, I've had Japanese strangers try to touch me, but I can probably count the number of times on one hand. Whereas it is definitely a lot more common in other Asian countries. And in some Asian countries, if I complained about guys touching me inappropriately, nothing happens. Instead, I get blamed for causing trouble because it is absolutely my fault for being a different race, right? But the thing is, the concept of personal space wasn't always established even in the West. Just look a few years back in the past. If you watch award show clips from the past, you'd see male award winners going up to the stage and simply force kissing female presenters without consent. They're acting like, hey, I want this meaningless award. Now give me the real award. And people back then thought that behavior like this was completely okay. It was just boys being boys. And if the female actresses complained, they would have been labeled as frigid or difficult. No, that was not planned. I was like, what the f is happening? When I checked Halloween clips from 2023, this is what I found. <laughs> 一方で女性の中にはこんな被害を訴える人が。カメラ目線。絶対来るんですよ。時間押されました、さっき。なんかそこの橋で押しに揉まれました。マジでやばい。おじいさん、おじいさん。おじいさん。一人でいるおじいさ